Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Katie and I'm a homeschooling mom to three kids. Their ages are eight, six, and three. So we have a third grader, first grader, and then a preschooler. And this is our third year homeschooling. We, um, I guess, became accidental homeschoolers because of COVID. We had to do the at-home learning. Um, and then going into that next year, we tried the virtual school and that just did, did not work out for us. It was not a good fit. Um, and so that's when we decided to homeschool and take matters into our own hands. And I became um, their teacher. And we realized that we really enjoyed it. Um, me and my husband were both homeschooled at different parts of our childhood. We love the flexibility of it. We love being able to make our own schedule um, and being in control of what we teach our kids. So um, I wanted to show you guys this video because I have had several people um, ask or make comments like, could you show us your homeschool setup? Um, so I decided I would make this video for you guys. And we do not have like a dedicated homeschool room. We never have since we started homeschooling three years ago. Um, we do school at the <laughs> dining room table. And so I kind of wanted to show you guys what that looks like for us, how I organize our things, because I know that since COVID has happened, homeschooling has really boomed. So many more people are homeschooling. And a lot of us, if you're like me, um, you don't have the space in your house, or maybe you just don't even want to give up that space to have a dedicated homeschool room. And so you want to do it at the table. And um, personally, I like doing it at the table. I like being in the center of my home as I homeschool. And if I need to step into the kitchen and work on something in there, my kids are right here. I can keep an eye on them. I can still answer questions, um, that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna show you guys how I kind of organize things because when you're homeschooling, you do need to keep things very organized, especially when you are homeschooling multiple children and you have multiple grade levels going on. So um, my main thing that I use is this cabinet that you see behind me right here. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera around and give you guys like a more in-depth tour. Okay, so this is our dining room, aka the school room. So like I said, we do work at our dining room table. I love these two windows because they let in a lot of natural light, which is great and helpful for learning. And where I keep all of my homeschool items are this cabinet right here. I got this cabinet from Walmart. Um, it's the Better Homes and Gardens brand, which is a Walmart brand. It's like the perfect size and it fits perfectly in that corner. So I was really excited when I found this. It's kind of like a cross between a gray and a white color. And then it has like the sliding barn door. So we'll get a little closer and show you guys. So I organize my um, teacher books in these kind of, what do you call that? Almost like a wicker wood basket that I got at Target. They're like the perfect size to hold my lesson plan books. Um, and they also have handles on the side, which is great. I can just um, easily lift it out of here. And so I have it organized by grade level. So this is all of my third grade um, teacher books, test keys, quizzes, um, all that kind of stuff. This is her clock that she <laughs> works on. And so the next shelf is for my first grader, same basket with the handles on the side. These are all of his um, teacher lesson plan books and the test books and all that kind of stuff. So these are like my baskets, what I need um, to homeschool. This shelf right here is their books, their workbooks, what they need. And so I bought these little um, book bin things from Target. Actually, got these two last year. I got this one this year, but they're pretty much exactly the same. I think they were like $3. Um, and so they have their workbooks. So like that's her math workbook, language, spelling book, history book, all that kind of stuff. That is my first grader, my preschooler. We're not doing like a set curriculum with her. We're just doing kind of some stuff here and there. She likes to be included. So um, these are also, they can pull these out easily and we will bring these to the table. Um, I should have mentioned this. I pull these two baskets out and I put them, I usually sit right here in this chair on the end. And I have my first grader, my third grader, my preschooler usually sits on the other end. 
and um, I will put those two baskets with my lesson plans on either side of me where I'm sitting. Um, and then they pull out these baskets and they take those to their seat and um, then they have everything that they need. So that's kind of how we do it. And this system works really well for me. It keeps everything super organized. Um, it's just the best method that I've found so far. And then here on the bottom, I have another one of these matching baskets. And this is kind of like um, arts and crafts stuff. It has a bunch of coloring books, some construction paper. It's not super well organized, but um, this is if they, you know, this isn't just for school because they color whenever they want to. But my three-year-old, a lot of the times when she's doing what she calls school, she, she likes to color. So, and I wanted to put it on this side because then that way, like it matches with the other two. So that's what that side looks like. Like I said, this is a sliding barn door, which is really cool. So I have four shelves over here on this side. This one, um, most of this stuff in here is not school related. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel, my husband is a pastor. So I help with a lot of the admin stuff at our church, which includes um, mailing out birthday cards, uh, get well cards, you know, any type of <laughs> that kind of stuff. So I have a lot of like my stamps and my boxes of cards and stuff in here. So this is just kind of mom's corner. But I do keep this bucket that I got from Target in like the dollar section. Yeah, it was a dollar a while ago. I do keep all of our pencils and stuff. So if anybody loses a pencil, needs a pencil, they know where to get it. Um, this one just has some more like glue sticks, scissors, adult scissors, and kid scissors dry erase markers and the eraser. These things are cool. I found these at the Dollar Tree. Um, they have like a see-through part on them here. So as you're reading, you put the line that you're reading in the see-through part and it just helps kids like keep their place where they're reading. Um, we keep like a ruler in there and yeah. Behind there, I have like some different learning, um, helping things. These are arithmetic um, concept cards. This is like a place value game. These are cool. I got these at a yard sale because my son loves anything superheroes. So these are like superhero themed phonics books and I have two of those. This is something that a teacher friend gave me. They're also little readers that are leveled. So I have a bunch of those. I have math flashcards. I have, I don't even remember what this is. <laughs> I think it's another math, yeah, it's more like math flashcards. And then I have our um, pencil sharpener that I keep right there for whenever I need to go through and sharpen all the pencils. So that's kind of what is on that shelf. And then next I have some more, this is all like supplemental learning things that I just don't wanna keep in those baskets. Like these are number flashcards. Let's see. Oh, those ones are like domino combination cards. I have a whiteboard. We use that a lot. Um, these are just like little cheap books that I got at Dollar Store or um, Target or whatever that I just use sometimes, but not all the time. Um, more whiteboards. This is some addition and subtraction, like little worksheets to practice. Um, yeah, so that's kind of all that kind of stuff and um, then more supplemental manipulatives. These are some of my favorite manipulatives for hands-on learning and I got these off of Amazon. These are math cubes. These are so good for learning tons of things. You can do um, patterns, measurement, and then using them for problem solving with addition and subtraction. Um, stuff like this is awesome for math because like I always struggled with math as a kid. So I feel like the more that you can do hands on, like that super visual, that's gonna stick with them and help them remember, then the better. <laughs> and then I have this little basket right here. I have tons of flashcards. All of these I got from like Dollar Tree or Target dollar section. So for all sorts of different math. Um, this is like matching um, letters. I also have 
play money here for when I start teaching um, that coins and dollars. So that's all kind of manipulative stuff right there. And this little folder right here, um, this is still from last year. I need to go through and empty this out. But I keep their test and quiz in here. Um, so depending on the homeschool laws in your state, sometimes you're required to send some of those in or they want to see it. Um, for my state, we just have to send in a progress report at the end of the year, so it's not too complicated. It's, it's really pretty easy to homeschool here, um, but I like to just keep these just in case. So like all her spelling tests, math tests, this was my son's um, test, all of that stuff I keep in there in different folders just to keep it organized. And then down here on the very bottom is like um, arts and crafts supplies. I bought this thing from Target last year and I absolutely love it. So I put markers and colored pencils in here. It has a great little hook. We take it to the table. We sit it in the middle of the table and then everybody can um, use whatever they need from there. Um, this little thing, I keep a bunch of paint supplies in. Like I said, some of this stuff is not just for school. Um, like we do this for fun, for arts and crafts time or whatever. But I keep little paint brushes and sponges and stuff in there. This container is all of our crayons. Um, this is not super, super organized. These are all of our watercolor sets. I also have these crayons, which I absolutely love, especially my third grader. She wants to do her best with coloring. She gets really into it and she wants to make sure that everybody has, you know, a correct skin tone. Um, so that is just kind of, and in here is some more like sticker books, coloring books, sketchbooks, whatever. So this bottom shelf um, is very accessible to the kids, which is the same as the bottom shelf on this side that has the coloring books and construction paper in it. So that's kind of why I put that at the bottom so that they would easily be able to reach it um, and get it whenever they need it for school or if they just are wanting to um, do crafts for fun. And I usually like to keep the door closed on this side just because I think that this looks much nicer um, and cleaner um, just in general whenever people walk by. I think that that just looks better than the other side's a little bit more chaotic, so. Okay, so that is kind of our homeschool setup. That is pretty much how we do school every single day using this organizational system. Like I said, it really works well for us. It keeps everything nice and organized. Now we do have like some bigger items, some more like educational games, that kind of stuff that we keep downstairs in the basement in a closet because we don't use those on a daily basis. This is pretty much everything that we use on a daily basis that I want close um, to where we are doing school. But this bookshelf, I definitely recommend it. I can try to put the link in my description box if you are interested um, in this. You can find something similar like it. I'm sure really any old bookcase will do. Um, it's just up to you and your preferences. Um, and of course, you want it to match the style of your home or whatever. But hopefully this was helpful to you guys. For those of you who, like myself, you do school at the table, um, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it or if it was helpful to you. I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for the support. I hope you all have a great week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.